So we are going to learn in computer class how to use an Excel sheet. I've actually created the Excel sheet. The Excel sheet I'm doing it in Google Sheets, and you're going to have a chance to use this. Um, but we're going to play a game called the Adulting Game. The Adulting Game is fun because when you become an adult, you get to work, you get to earn money, and you get to decide how it gets spent. But you'll find that the world in which you live kind of gives you some rules that you have to live with. And Excel sheets are a wonderful real-world tool where computers can help you do that successfully. The object of the game is to build wealth with a balanced budget. The money that you have is your wealth. Your wealth is not how much you owe. The amount of your wealth is the money that you actually have. So here are the game rules, and I'll go over them with you right here. The game rules. One, your budget must balance to zero dollars. You have to take in a certain amount, and you have to spend all of it, plan for all of it. All of the categories must auto-calculate. You're going to have to do that. That's one of your Excel skills. I'm going to show you how to do a sum. You have to save your emergency fund 12 months or less, and I'm going to require that you save a $500 emergency fund. That's one of the requirements, okay? It's a $500 emergency fund. As a matter of fact, I'll put that total in there for you so you have it. And you have to do that in 12 months or less. You're not allowed to borrow money for any reason. You can never have a red. Red is an automatic lose. You never are allowed a red. And then every column must be filled. And you have to give and save and spend. Those are the three things that you have to do. So here's your circumstances. This is all the stuff that a teenager would have to deal with. You'll see I talk about giving and saving because I told give, save, and spend, right? Food, like you don't have to buy groceries, but restaurants and eating out, school lunch, vending machines, things that you buy. I know we don't buy school lunch in Hartford, but sometimes you order out for lunch, right? Um, clothes, sometimes sports equipment. Maybe you need, you know, you play a sport and you need a new whatever, sneakers, cleats, whatever, right? So uh, transportation, if you're going to drive a car, gas, insurance, oil changes, licenses, taxes, and fees. Personal items like cosmetics and hair care. I know it's a joke me talking about hair care. Music and technology. Pocket money. Who doesn't want to have a little money to go down to the corner store, right? Have a little pocket money. Everybody's got a cell phone. Got to pay for that cell phone, right? The movies, the concerts, the sporting events, the gaming, etc. All the stuff that you spend money on. Mr. Tush, what if you didn't think of it? Well, I gave you another column down here that you got to deal with. It's empty, it's empty, uh, but that's the deal. And you have to make them, uh, you're not allowed to borrow money, every column must be filled. So let's go through how this is gonna work. Well, let's start with the spending and let's, let's start with where kids are gonna go first. I could start up here and I, we will eventually, but the first thing you're gonna think about, oh, what about the fun things I get to do, right? What if I wanted to go to the movies? Well, how much does it cost to go to movies? I gave you words, work, numbers that you're allowed to work with. I'm going to say that going to a movie is $18 if you want a loan, $40 bucks if you're with a friend. So you're going to buy your friends some something if you got a special somebody you're with. I'm thinking, you know, date night type of situation, right? So what if I decide I'm going to go to the movies with my friends? I'm going to plan that I'm going to have one date this month. Ah, I'm going to have a good month. I'm going to have two, two dates, sorry. Two dates this month. And there's a concert I want to go to. The ticket's are kind of expensive for me and my friends. It's $120 because it's two, two $60 tickets, right? Sporting events, nothing. I'll put that in. Uh, what about gaming? Oh, yeah, there's this new game I want to get. And I know that new game is going to cost me $67. I don't have to have anything other, uh, under other. I have to make this tally up. So right in this box right here, I'm going to put in a formula called SUM. So just follow along. I'm going to write down here. I'm going to click SUM. I'm going to go click equals sum and then parentheses and then line all this up and then I'm going to hit the close parentheses and there it is $267 so let's look at the top <gasps> red dun 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 red because that number's below zero it's a red uh, so I gotta go to work over here I gotta go to work hmm. Let's see what happens. What if I grab my job? Now, you you are making you automatically eligible for a $14 an hour job. So however many hours a week you're willing to work, I'm, you know, and remember, you're still in school, right? So what are we going to do? So I go in here. What if I'm willing to work four hours a week? Real light, easy job, right? One afternoon. $190. Oops. Guess what? All I've done is my recreational spending. I haven't even done giving or saving. All right. Yes, you have to give. Yes, you have to save. So I got to get that up to six months already, right? Six hours a week. All right. Six hours a week. That puts me into yellow. I actually have a little more than I need to spend. All right. So that's good. Now, it says you must save your $500 emergency fund in 12 months or less. 
I started you off with a dollar. So if you put in a dollar into your $500 emergency fund, it's going to take you 500 months. I've already got this formula worked out. You can't change that formula, all right? So what if I decide to put $10 a month aside for my emergency fund? It's going to take me 50 months. All right, but wait, I got this 2196 here. So I'll go in and I'll put in 2196. Uh, 23 months. Uh, I got to work a little harder. So to build some wealth, I got to go up here and get my seven. Oh, maybe that'll allow me to put 70 a month. And oh, I'll have an eight months. So I can go a little easier. You know, what if I down 50 a month? Ooh, 10 months. What if I went to 45? Okay, that's a 45 foot magic number, right? So that's cool. And wait, I didn't add this in. So I've got to go to sum. Sorry, equals sum parens. Add it in there. Close it off. And that's what my budget actually is. All right, so it's not adding it up. All right, so let's take a look at my savings. So I'm putting that aside for my emergency fund. And I got a gift. So let's get the giving out of the way, right? Some, I happen to like giving. I like it when I do charitable things. It's fun. You know, contribute to things that I really believe in. And I've decided that I want to, I want to give this $25 a month off to my charity. Okay. So far, I could call it done as long as I don't need a car. But I do need a car. If I'm 15, 16, 16, if I'm 15, I don't need a car. But if I'm 16 and I'm in a driver, I'll go with an 18-year-old, right? So, and, you know, I'm probably going to need some gas money. Probably, let's see what the rates say, uh, gas per month. If I'm going to drive to my job, I'm going to need to pay $70 a month. So, so let me make sure my sum is working here, all right? So equals sum, parentheses, boom, put this in. Remember how we do that, right? And so I'll say $70 a month for that, right? And uh oh, it's in the red. And my insurance, because you can't drive without insurance. You have to pay your own insurance in this game. Your parents aren't buying your insurance. So how much is my insurance? Let's see what that is. Car insurance, 18 year old male, $219. Okay, boys and girls. So that car just became expensive, $219. Plus a car gonna break if I don't oil change it. So I gotta put $20 aside for every month. I only have to change about every three months. So we'll do that licenses, taxes, and fees. Does that give me anything? Licenses and fees? $27 a month I'm putting aside for that. So I got about $27 a month. Here we go. Ooh, $341 for that car. Ooh, I gotta earn another $340. I got to pretty much double my work. What about 14 hours, right? Holy cow. I got to do 15 hours a week. That's just to keep my car on the road. My goodness. Give me another $45 a month. $15 a month. That's five days a week, three hours, unless I get a seven-hour shift on a Saturday. That's a lot of hours. 15 hours a week. That's a lot of hours for the working, okay? So a lot of times we think, gee, you know, it's great to get a job. So I just get a job of all the money I need. Not if you're going to be wealthy. If you're going to be wealthy and not get into debt, you got to work. you got to work a lot. And if you work a lot, you're going to lose time in school. Just kind of giving you a heads up. I'm not saving for college in this, too. I really should put $45 away a month for college. Ooh, that's another hour a week i got to work, 16 All right, now i got a little extra money. Um, oh, I guess save for car repairs. I'll put another $20 a month aside for that. Um, so that's a good thing. Oh, restaurant eating out. I'll get $27. So I'll buy $27.56. And I don't get to buy any lunches while I'm at school. What if I want to buy lunches at school? Well, if I want to put $10 aside for that, oops, I have to do equals, some parentheses, add this up, close it off. Ooh, -ooh. I'm $10 over. That is not good. What am I going to do here? I'm going to have to take that out, right? And now I've got a budget that balances. But I have to deliberately put in a zero on that. Hmm, haven't, no clothes this month. Sorry, it's not getting any clothes. I still have to make it add up. Sum, parens, boom, boom. And I put it in there. All right. Ooh, personal care. Ooh, I don't get any hair care. I don't get any music or technology. I don't get anything about a new cell phone. Ooh, but I have to pay my own cell phone, don't I? Hmm. Let's do this column. So let's take care of that. And then do this, so we'll put that in, and let's see how much a cell phone costs. Do I have a cell phone fee? My phone, on my own, it's $89 a month. Okay, $89 a month for my cell phone, so I'll put that in. 
89 dollars a month and we're gonna play budget whoa i better put in another two hours so i'm up to 18 hours a week 18 hours a week minimum just to live this life or maybe I do without a car, and then if I do without a car, then I can get rid of this, and now when all of that goes to zero, now I got a lot of extra money, but I don't really have to work 18 hours a week because I'm failing out of school, so maybe I cut it down to 10 hours a week. Okay, 11 because there's still some expenses. Now we've got ourselves a reasonable budget, all right? So that's what working a job can buy you if you work a lot of hours you have a lot of money but then you fail out of school and here's the thing if you don't go to college then this wage right here this 14 dollars an hour and all of this buys that, that's your wage for the rest of your life it's kind of going to be like that and even though this might go up to 18 dollars an hour the cost of all of this is going to go way up and i haven't added in rent and mortgage uh, health insurance. I haven't added in clothes because you gotta, you're gonna grow and you're gonna have to buy clothes. I haven't done groceries, and I can tell you, groceries for a family of two is two hundred fifty dollars a week. So it could be a thousand, as much as a thousand dollars a month. So understand that this is just the teenager version of this, and it's for real. You have to work hard to get your money. Good luck with this. Make sure that yours gives, saves, and spends. Everything's filled in. Anything else you need to add doesn't have to be filled in. All of these tally. I'm going to check that they all tally. And if they all tally, then you're going to get 100 points on this. Good luck with this project. Have fun.